Some fun classic player returns on today's episode, coming up. Hello again, everybody. My name is Troy Rudder, and I literally wrote the book on autograph collecting. Hey, they call me TTM Troy, unless they're talking about my pseudo brother, TTM Tony, that sometimes gets a little press here and there. <laughs> I'll have to tell you guys that story if you're not familiar with it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I have some four, some four, <laughs> classic TTM returns for you today, including some 1982 Fleer that I have been getting in. So let's jump right into it right now. Boom. All right, first we have Brian McRae. He signed one of one in 33 days via the MLB Alumni Association. Now this is one of those 1991 Donruss rookie sets that Chase and Inc. sent me so long ago. Uh, he actually played from 1990 to 1999 with the Royals, the Cubs, the Mets, the Rockies, and the Blue Jays. And he has worked for Major League Baseball Radio and also ESPN's Baseball Tonight. And he is a strong supporter of the Big Brothers and Big Sisters Foundation and the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, Mr. Brian McRae. Next we have Ken Forsh. He signed one of one in only eight days via his home in California. Now he played from 1970 to 1986 for the Astros and the Angels. He's a two times All-Star and actually had a no-hitter on April 7th, 1979 against the Braves. And his brother also had two no-hitters uh, against the Cardinals, it looks like. I don't know. I think I might have got my facts mixed up there. But he and his brother were a force to be reckoned with back then, for sure. Mr. Ken Forsh. Next, we have Larry Boa. Philadelphia Phillies card right here. He signed 1-1 one one in 29 days via his home in Pennsylvania. He played from 1970 to 1985 for the Phillies, the Cubs, and then the Mets. And he was also a manager of the Padres and Phillies and coached for several teams since then. He is a five times All-Star and was a member of the 1980 World Series champion Phillies. He is also a two times Golden Glove winner and a National League Manager of the Year and a member of the Phillies Wall of Fame, Mr. Larry Boa. Next we have Steve Comer. He signed one of one in 30 days via his home in Minnesota. The address for him is actually on Star Tiger. It is not a uh, generally public address, so you can get it there. He played from 1978 to 1984 for the Rangers, the Phillies, and the Indians accumulating a win-loss record as 44 to 37 and a 4.13 ERA. Steve Comer. I hope you've enjoyed these 1982 Fleers I've been showing and also some of the other cards that come in, but a lot of these for the next few weeks are probably going to be 1982 Fleer if the streak continues because I am having a blast sending these out. I think I've sent out more of the 1982 Fleers that I... I won't say that I did at spring training, but it's getting up there. I really enjoy sending these out, and they just look great signs, so definitely thumbs up to uh, Fleer for this set. It's one of my favorite sets, as I always say. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know you have a choice when it comes to YouTube, and there's so many people doing TTMs and autographs, and yeah, that baseball card thing that's over there. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, someday we'll need to talk about... Uh, <laughs> Well, I say stuff like that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll probably get some uh, hate mail for that. But it's all in good fun, people. It's all in good fun. Um, yeah, let's just leave it at that for now. <laughs> Zombie. Zombie will probably uh, leave a comment on this video, uh, either laughing or, or some other emotion. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, as I'm so fond of saying, may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye.